is your time. Do you ever wish that someone could help you get things done? Ladies and gentlemen, children, I want to introduce you to a new time economy. What is a time bank? I came across this when my friend Linda sent me an email about a group of women in New York City who started a woman chair. When I watched this video, I started to cry because it was so beautiful. Women helping women get things done. Helping women in need. I call up Linda, I say, Linda, we have got to start one here. What is it? Well, let's say you need some help with gardening or cooking. And I give you two hours of my time. Then you spend two time dollars, and I earn two time dollars. Now, I don't have to go back to you to help me necessarily. I just need to go back to the time bank and find someone in the time bank that can help me. So for example, I had someone who's a handyman help me with my plumbing. There are three aspects that make a time bank so wonderful. One is abundance, two is equality, and three is reward. Abundance. Think about what you can do. What do you have to offer others? What skills, abilities, know-how, professional experience, life experience that someone else might need from you? Wouldn't it be great if you could share more of that? So that not only do we have a monetary economy, but now we have this tremendous wealth that's in this room. And then you move it out into the community, and you think, how many other people are there that can help one another? Equality. Your hour is the same as my hour, is the same as her hour, is the same as his hour. We're all equal. We all have value, worth, unique skills, and abilities. There's no one better than the other in the time bank. Some people come to me and they say, Kathy, you know, I make $200 an hour. And she only makes $20 an hour. How is that fair? Well, in a way, I think it's a little bit more fair because we all have such great worth. But if this person who's making $200 an hour wants to continue in the monetary economy, that's great. Just keep it in the monetary economy and then come and help someone mow their lawn or watch their children or pitch in in another way. The second or the third is the reward. It's wonderful when you get something accomplished. I had a member who helped me with Facebook, because I wasn't really that good with Facebook. And that was great. There was a member who doesn't walk, and she needed help pruning her rose bushes. And I helped her. It's very rewarding to receive, but it's also so rewarding to give when someone appreciates it. But even more than that, it's the connection that is made with the people. I have people in the time bank say, Kathy, this feels like a family of wholesome, caring people. I have such deeper connection with these people. I am working with them. I'm getting to know them. Some people go into other people's homes. I mean, you get a real deep relationship. And you think about this in the community, and, and wouldn't that be fabulous to know more of your neighbors and have a better connection with one another and just to be there with, for them? So abundance, equality, and reward make this a terrific asset for our community. Now, who benefits from this? Anyone who wants to build community, who wants to get to know others. There's a lot of isolation, but if we want to connect and network and so forth, this is perfect for them. Unemployed people. Unemployment is rising, and there's a lot of people who are struggling because of that. And when you lose your job, you have a tendency to kind of feel like you're not valuable and worth anything. But in a time bank, you can get to work right away helping someone. You can hone your skills. You can get a resume bullet. You can make connections 
They might know someone where you can get a paying job. Limited income. Look, you might have your kids in college, very high prices. You may be retired, you may be unemployed, you may have lots of expenses, a high mortgage. A lot of people are looking for ways to save money. Think about how much you can save on service. So when I had this handyman come over, he saved me a significant amount of money on plumbing. I did have to buy the materials, but I didn't have to pay for the service. Retired people are wonderful because they have this lifetime of experience. They have so much to share, and a lot of times they want to give back. They want to volunteer. They can mentor someone. They can teach them some of those skills that they've acquired through the years. Disabled persons. I have someone in the time bank who is disabled. She cannot walk, she's in a wheelchair, but she's an excellent life coach. She knows alternative therapies, and she can help them in that way. In a time bank, everyone can do something and is valued for that. Stay-at-home parents really appreciate this because they can rely on other parents to watch the kids, get a ride to the auto mechanic if they need it. The last group I'd like to introduce you to is business people. What's wonderful is that it can be a very creative endeavor to find how the time bank can benefit from business and vice versa. So for example, we have an acupuncturist who donates acupuncture sessions in exchange for childcare. I was talking to a restaurant owner and I said, you have a great space to rent out for an hour or two. It's hard to find a good meeting place. And then in exchange, the time bank members can come and mop your floors or cut some vegetables. There are very creative ways that you can pull this together with businesses too. So you can see that we have the monetary system and there's a place for that. But what happens if it goes further down or we run into trouble, we need an alternative economy. But even if it stays great in the monetary system, we can build upon what we have and we can make so much more connections and we can help one another out so much more if we can open up these skills and abilities. Some people don't want to pay for things. They're just like, I'd really like my house clean, but I don't want to pay for it. In the time bank, you can get it. As long as you put money or time in, I should say, you can get it back out. So I'd like to leave you with a question to the people that it serves. How could you or those you know in the community benefit from a time bank?